Hi everybody, um, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I wanted to kind of compare the pros and cons between the former uh, glucometer that came with the 670G and earlier pumps, the Contour Next, um, and the new glucometer, the AccuCheck Guide that comes with the 770G. Um, I've heard mixed reviews from a bunch of users, so I just wanted to kind of share um, my opinion of the two um, two different meters. Okay, so for those of you who um, haven't had the 770G, um, this is what comes with it. This is the AccuCheck Guide Link Meter, which is practically the AccuCheck Guide Meter. Um, it's been programmed to where it connects with an insulin pump. The normal AccuCheck Guide um, will be able to connect to a smartphone, whereas this one is only programmed to connect to a insulin pump. Um, the meter itself is very um, kind of compact um, and narrow. Uh, it does take batteries. These are the batteries. Um, I've heard they should be rated for um, a little over a year, maybe two. Um, so far, I haven't had any issues. I only use this meter for um, my calibrations uh, when the pump needs to. You can press the OK button. Um, there's not a lot of menus. You can test. You can look at your data. Press OK. Logbook. So today I calibrated. My blood glucose was 172. I can go back. Kind of averages. You can go in and kind of set up all this how you want if you're going to be using um, the glucometer for um, a lot of different things. I'm not as concerned with that because I typically only use it about two maybe five times a day, depending on um, uh, what my pump suggests. Um, under settings, you can set the time and date, a beeper or wireless. Wireless is how you go down to pairing and you pair to pump or you delete pump. More options, just kind of, you can program some information in there. I haven't dove into that too much. Um, it comes with the AccuCheck fast click um, lancing device. So what that means is it has a cartridge. Here's one. It's a little cartridge that has six lancets in it. So once you've used one, you slide this over. It tells you that you're on lancet number four. And then you can adjust your depth. And then the one complaint I have with this lancet is you have to push and it gets to a hard point and then you push a little bit more and it fires. Um, I don't necessarily like that because if I'm trying to do like this, it's sometimes a little hard and I like to keep it in the, in the pouch. So I might be trying to push it with my pinky or something a little crazy. Um, so that's my only complaint with the Lancet. I do like this because it's easy. I can change them. Don't have to worry about taking one in and out uh, multiple times. Um, these are how the test strips come. I've seen a couple people complain about this already um, because when you open it, it keeps all the test strips stacked nice and neat in um, a line. It makes it a little hard to get one out. The easiest way i found is kind of rest your finger on it and slide it up. Um, they're at top of all the test strips are where the blood drop goes. So just you can see that they're all lined up nice and neat. But the easiest way I've found is just kind of rest your finger on it, apply a little bit of pressure, and slide it up and out. Um, it does get a little bit harder when you get down to like the final five test strips. Um, they kind of want to stick together and you got to uh, play with it a little bit. Um, but you can get it out. My one complaint with this bag is it needs to be a little bit bigger. I do miss the zipper that is on the Contour Next Link bag that we're going to see because in the zipper I used to keep um, my uh, Lantern cartridges. And then behind it, if I'm not near a trash can, I typically throw my test strips in the back and let get a couple in there. And then I'll take it, shake it out over the trash can and dump it out. Um, I don't feel that the test strips are very secure. Um, it twists all over the place. I, I just don't like the um, the way that that is held in place. 
There is a button here on the side of the meter that you can press and it'll pop the test strip out. And there is a test strip light. And I'll show you guys. I am really grateful for the light because my Omnipod before I switched to Medtronic had a light on it and um, it made testing at night super easy. Um, so I'll go ahead and just check my sugar. Might be a little high. I um, ate lunch not that long ago. Oops. It's a lot easier to use the Lancet device um, outside of, oh, come on, the uh, case. And I did just wash my hands a second ago. Now I'm gonna show you guys the one complaint that I truly have with this meter. I know this blood drop is not good enough. So let's say I, oh, well, I guess it was. Um, this meter, once you check your sugar, you have to press the back button to go ahead and send the data to the pump. It does auto send, but it takes up to two minutes before it does it automatically. So uh, I've just got myself in the habit of pressing it and it'll give you the transfer. And as we can see, I've got it on my pump. Um, it typically takes about the same t amount of time that the um, Contour Next did to send the data. I haven't noticed that's being transferred um, f any faster. And as we can see, the meter went to sleep on me. Um, so that's my overall view with the AccuCheck um, GuideLink meter. So I'm gonna slide that out of the way and then open up my Contour. Um, as you can see, I talked about the zipper. I really missed that because um, I would keep uh, clips for my infusion sites. And then I actually purchased an AccuCheck MultiClicks, which is the um, original to the new one. And this is my favorite part about it. So you could twist to change lancets, push it in, and then it gives you the yellow and now you're ready to fire you just push this button and then it would it would fire the lancet um i really miss the button because that makes it easier for you to push get your finger the way you want it push the button and fire um so i have been uh using these accucheck lancet devices pretty much my whole time that i've been a diabetic so almost 10 years um, I think this is my third one, and then now this new one will be my fourth. Um, as you can see, I have some test strips in there because I didn't empty this out. This has been sitting in my nightstand in case I accidentally leave my AccuCheck GodLink meter um, at work. Um, the, I know this thing's not dead. Okay. Um, the Contour Next Link, um, a lot of people uh, liked because it's USB rechargeable. This is how you had to sync your pump before. Um, you could just plug it into the computer and that's typically when I charged it, when I would sync my pump about every one to two weeks, leave it sit plugged up in there long enough for the pump to sync and then that would always keep me um, at a full battery. I do like this meter. I like the way it's secure inside this bag. I never had any issues with it moving or trying to slide. Um, I do wish that it had a light on it and the test strips. Um, I kind of like the thin profile of the AccuCheck guides test strip container versus the contour, but the contour, I will agree with a lot of people. It's easier to get the test strips out of this than it is the other. Um, but, um, I guess we just got to get used to it. I mean, we can't. I'm not really complaining. I do like the AccuCheck guide meter. Um, as you can see, the cases are similar in size. Um, so some of you guys might have uh, wanted to know with the AccuCheck guide, how do you um, sync to CareLink? So I'm gonna insert um, a screen recording of the app here, um, walking you through how to check when your pump uh, was last synced to CareLink um, it, through the MiniMed Connect app and then how to manually sync your pump through the app. If you do not have a supported phone or something happened um, and your phone is not supported currently, 
then Medtronic should have sent you the blue adapter is what they're calling it. Um, it's a little Bluetooth USB dongle. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, it's like a USB drive that'll connect your um, pump to the computer and you can sync your 770G to CareLink the same as you would any other pump through the Contour Next meter. Um, if you did not get one of these Bluetooth adapters for your 770G when you ordered your pump, you can call Medtronic and I believe you can get one. Um, I have seen the blue adapter as a replacement option on um, the Medtronic website with sensors and belt clips. So I do believe they are sending those out to people. Uh, my iPhone 12 Pro was not supported when I ordered my pump, so they went ahead and included that um, for me. So I keep it in the package. I hadn't even opened it or used it, and um, it stays here in my desk at home in case something were to happen and uh, I accidentally update my phone to the new iOS version and it loses support because that might happen. So it's always a good backup. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions about the meters or anything with the 770G, you can leave me a comment. Um, I would love it if you guys subscribe. Um, the subscribes really help um, get the video, my videos uh, kind of the higher on YouTube with the search. And then I also have a Facebook page, Justin the Diabetic, if you'd like to like and follow that. Um, that is a little easier for me to kind of share screenshots with you uh, everybody and discuss, uh, my day to day, um, stuff kind of like a blog. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.